So the Venom trailer, I saw it three times, kept noticing one thing after the other. And so let's just talk about it. Obviously I can't play the trailer here in the video and then I'll get copyrighted. So I'm just gonna be showing off some screenshots while I talk about it. And so let's just start off with the things that I liked about the trailer. First thing first, the song used Space Oddity by David Bowie. That was a pretty interesting choice. And I just love the song overall. I even loved it when they used it in the Infinite Warfare trailer. Remember that? Remember when that was a thing and it was like harshly disliked? The visuals looked very good and I understand that it's only a trailer. It's not the full film because not nine times out of ten you do see something a little weird in an actual film versus just a trailer. But from what I'm seeing so far, this all looks pretty solid. The fact that they didn't forget about Patrick Mulligan, AKA Toxin, that is great. Cause I'm pretty sure he was there teased a little bit in the, in the previous film. So that's perfect. And now let's kind of get into the meh, the bad side of things. So human ops, human ops, you know, that's been a thing. There was human ops in the first one, human ops in the second one but at the same time not necessarily so it was a human op in the first one until he became riot later on in the film then we, there was a human op in the second film until he became carnage once he became carnage it was like that was it you know what i'm saying like that was the main op we all knew it was going to be carnage at the end of the day here it just looks like it's going to be military that that one black guy versus venom what okay all right seems interesting enough and then later on in the trailer we saw the symbiote invasion i just hope that it isn't at a big scale like web of shadows or spider-man 2 game i feel like a symbiote invasion that is a little bit too much to happen in one film on top of venom getting chased down by the government and whatnot i don't know about that i'm not too sure about that so we just have to see how it plays out. Now, the biggest thing that got everyone talking is the potential retcon of the black suit in the MCU. What? What the fuck? So in the trailer, we saw the same bar, same everything from the post credit scene in No Way Home. It was the same guy, the same bar. But this time, the that black guy that I was telling you about that's hunting down Venom, he stops that piece that Venom left behind of himself. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. Now, it's weird because we're not sure if this is the MCU. I mean, well, it's not because it, this whole movie is in the Sony-verse, but why make it exactly the same place and everything? You know what I'm saying? Unless it's just the fact that it he also left behind a piece of himself in the same spot. It's just that it's the Sony burst and he just stops it. I hope this isn't an actual retcon or anything. That would be ass. Boom! <laughs> that, to be honest, it would very much be ass if they actually retconned it because it's like, y'all been teasing this for such a long time. Y'all been, y'all teased it in the previous film of Venom, Let There Be Carnage at the end, where he got transported into the MCU and had an interest in Spider-Man. Then in No Way Home, he was talking about paying Spider-Man a visit, but then he tr got transported back into his own verse. He left the piece of Venom behind. Great, okay, Spider-Man 4, that's, that's what it's gonna be about. But now this scene definitely puts some doubt in everyone's heads and it's like, yo, I really hope they don't retcon this and they're doing a different story in Spider-Man 4. I mean, ultimately, Spider-Man 4, I feel like is, it is going to be a great film regardless, especially if it stays grounded. I heard that there was a bunch of leaks saying that they wanted to do another multiverse film with Spider-Man. I really hope they don't. But if they keep it grounded, it would be great. It would be great regardless, with or without the, the symbiote storyline. But it would be such a shame if they don't do the symbiote storyline with Tom Holland. Because I'm pretty sure he got signed for three more films, for Spider-Man 4, 5, and 6 correct me if i'm wrong but if if he did get signed for all the for the next three films then what they could do is they could even stretch out him having the symbiote for like two more films so he could have the symbiote for four five and then at the end of five he might he'll, he'll take it off because i always believe that for a symbiote storyline it needs to feel like time has passed that he had the suit on and, and it takes over 
and he's acting more aggressive and whatnot. I feel like that's what needs to be done in order to tell a great symbiote storyline. The final thing I want to talk about when it comes to this trailer is the potential leaks. And I really hope these leaks aren't real. So the thing that I heard was that <laughs> Venom and Toxin is going to see 10 year old Peter Parker. Are you serious right now, bro? Now, I don't know what it means by just like, will they just be meeting him and it's just like a cameo thing? Or are they planning to actually take him down when he's 10 years old and defense defenseless? I don't know. I don't know. I hope this isn't real. I hope they just stick to whatever storyline they got or the storyline that we can tell from this trailer. I hope it is just Venom getting chased down by the government while also kind of getting chased down by the, the whole symbiote invasion and whatnot. And I, I'm guessing Toxin is going to take part in it as well since they're setting him up. I hope it just stays like that because <laughs> if it genuinely goes with that route of the leaks, that's going to be fucking embarrassing. All in all, though, definitely going to see this Venom movie, probably not in theaters because I haven't seen the other two films in theaters at all. I mainly seen them once it's online, but who knows? Once October comes around, I might just be like, you know what? Let's go to the theaters. Let's actually watch this. But yes, we'll watch this and definitely will give my thoughts once the film does come out. Oh, and Venom using the horse? Perfect. That was perfect. Down to the last minute detail. That was perfect. <laughs>